Hello, today I want to show you how to build this simple inverter from 12 to 120 volts, which requires only three components, relay, capacitor and transformer. For this project we need a double pole double throw relay or DPDT. These relays have two terminals to energize the coil, which is this and two sets of contacts. The contacts have a common terminal, this, the white wire, and the normally closed contact and the normally open contact. The first thing we need to do is to connect the relay as an oscillator. All we need to do is to join one terminal of the coil to the common terminal of the contacts. Now if I connect the battery to the relay coil we can see that works as normal. But if I connect to the normally closed contact the relay works as an oscillator at a frequency of several hundred hertz. This is too high for our purposes, so I am going to lower the frequency by connecting a capacitor in parallel with the coil. A 4.7 microfarad capacitor will do the job. We also need a common transformer of 120 to 6 volts or 240 to 12 volts. Mine is 120 to 12 volts between the red wires but it gives 6 volts between the black and the red wire so I am going to use these two as secondary you need a transformer of 1 or 2 amps I have connected the relay as oscillator with the capacitor Now I'm going to use the other set of terminals of the relay to connect the transformer. Let's see the connection of the transformer. We are using the other set of contacts of the relay. These are the terminals that go to a battery, positive and negative. So the current enters here, goes to the secondary of the transformer, then goes here to this contact of the relay and then to this other contact and back to the battery. But between these two contacts we have connection and disconnection since the relay is oscillating. Therefore we are feeding the secondary with alternating current or to be more precise with pulsating DC current. Now our transformer is connected in reverse. This is the secondary and the primary. So the voltage here will be amplified in the primary. So here we will obtain alternating current of approximately 120 volts. So let's see the inverter working. Let's try first with this LED lamp. The lamp works at 120 volts as you can see. So let's now make the connections. Positive terminal and negative. Let's now try with a cell phone charger.
Well, the inverter works as you have seen. However, it is not a very practical device. Maybe it will be good as a learning tool or for a school project. The reason it is not practical is first, the output power is very low, just a few watts, less than 10. Second and more important is that working as an oscillator is very aggressive to the relay contacts. They will wear very quickly and the relay will stop working. Also, the output of this inverter is not a sinusoidal wave, it is a square wave. Thank you.